Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Napoleon Total War, playing the Darth mod, playing as Great Britain, we're just about to take out some Spanish ships, Joaquim Ruiz, Ruiz. Um, I think just to recap, we're, um, we've moved an army I think down from Belgium into just north of Reims or Rang, I think they would call it in France. Um, and we're going to, we were trying to attack and take out that city and give it to the Belgians, but I think we were just out of reach of it. We're going to also move an army down into, just concentrate here, I'm going to turn the sound back on, turn the effects back on. There we go, that's better. We're going to, um, move an army across to Corsica and try and get ourselves a, a fairly secure base in the Mediterranean which we can then use let's have a look where are we? Can we move forward? We can move forward actually, move forward to here. We don't have the weather gauge as usual. <laughs> um, so we're going to set up a battle squadron and then a another squadron that we can use to chase them down because they'll almost certainly run as soon as they actually start to get hit by us start the battle just gonna speed things up slightly um, as always concentrate your forces but we're gonna try and keep the wind on our side actually, if we can. Let's get my heavy ships going. And third rate's going to end that way because he's going to come down sort of like, in fact, the wind direction. And he'll probably turn, when we block his pathway, he'll probably turn west or southwest. So in this direction here, we turn in this direction. Um, yeah, he's only got a brig and a frigate, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Picking up the wind here with our frigates and the lighter ships. They're the ones who are going to basically block the guy. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to slightly alter the angle so that we can come back towards the south with the larger ships. They can act as a stop if he starts to turn towards the southwest. Um, Gonna have a collision here, are we? In the Neptune? No, that's fine. And the Rose. Okay, We're closing on very quickly. I'll try to make this fairly quick so that we can get hold of their ships. We can then use to damage their ports and cause them trouble. Gonna try and pick up the wind now a bit more with the the larger ships, just alter the angle slightly. And we need to swing about here. I'm just going to take the speed off now as we're about to close. There we go. Aye, aye, sir. Wow. There's a lot of water coming on board this 38 gunner. <clears throat> don't have any damage on it, so I don't know why, why that would be the case. I just took a hit there. We lost a gun. I've got a feeling some of these ships are actually captured. They'll be French ones, so they'll be quite fast, these um, 74 gun ships. Yeah. These are third rates, these ships, I believe. Just going to alter the angle slightly. Gonna try and keep the wind in our sails on the larger ships, but I'm sure that he will turn. He may not. He might not turn southwest or west. I've got a feeling he probably will. Can't afford to sustain too much damage here because I don't have a, re a repair port that's very close. I'm going to take control of these now. I don't want to. Rather than keep them in line astern all the time, we're going to try and close on them. Keep the Afro 
Africa, going this direction. Continue to let's try and double up or even triple up on this guy. Because it's the this is the ship that's gonna have the harder hull. This brig I'm sure will go almost straight away as soon as we attack it. Looks as if he's not going to turn, which surprises me. He's keeping with the wind. We need to. It might even turn up wind actually. It's possible. So we just need to move our ships around again so we can keep firing on him. Of course, I say really, we're, we're quite a distance here, almost extreme range with the 74 gun ship. Uh, we need to. Oh on fire, so we're going to take a fire at will, and we're going to try and repair the ship. Should be able to put the fire out, in fact almost instantly, that's really good actually. It's a good tip that. Take things off auto, it means that the crewmen presumably aren't trying to fire the guns, they're actually engaged in putting the fire out, which is sensible. Now, can we actually get a broadside off? I'm not sure that we can. Oh, he's just gone out of range of <laughs> the Rose. He just managed to pull out of range the brig. Otherwise, he would have had a broadside from the Rose of 120 odd guns. Well, 70 odd guns. 60 guns. Just need to manage this a bit more closely. them. So we'll try to speed this up once we've actually got them where we want them. Gonna try and go across his stern. He's starting to suffer a lot of damage now actually this guy. his stern would be a good idea. That'll cause a morale problem for them. I don't think the Rose is going to actually get into the battle, to be honest, or the Ajax. A bit too far away. What are they doing? Stern will be over here by the time we get to them. We're not really suffering much damage ourselves at all, to be honest. I don't know how large a calibre the guns are on the brig, but they can't be much, to be honest. Um, considering going over to round shot, actually. Reaching, I don't think we do that. No, we're gonna change the angle slightly to try and head them off. Where's that frigate? Let's get that nice and close. Concerned at hole damage. It's not very windy today, it's not very stormy, the battle, so I think you'll be able to turn without sinking. I'm going upwind, which is a bit of a pain for me. I don't have the weather gauge. Rose is getting involved now. Extreme range. Good. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's put the Juno around a bit more so she can start firing again. 
And same thing with the Africa. Gotta keep after them with the Ryan. These have very good range actually, these, um, the rows, it's firing a hell of a distance, look. Just speed things up a little bit. close to this guy if we can to give him a that will finish him off. He's maybe gonna turn round towards the east, looks like it. Only some of my ships will be able to catch them now, the larger ships just won't be able to do that. Um, might have to get another broadside onto the this brig from the Conqueror. Yep, there we go. Fairly inaccurate. <laughs> it's an extreme range so you really not got to be alongside a ship to, to do real damage to it to be honest. Other than that, it's just a lucky shot might take out a mast or something. Just four cannons, six men, that's nothing. Let's move this guy around. Not the Neptune. <coughs> Excuse me. He's healing right over, actually. It looks like he might be going to sink any moment. Let's see if we can get two ships onto this one, concentrate our fire. That will certainly last a lot longer in um, Darth Maud, I think, than um, Napoleon. It's a long time since I've played Napoleon Total War, the vanilla version. Um, it certainly is a, quite a sustained battle. Oh, it's gone. It's sinking, unfortunately, but that's fine. It's really the frigate we were after anyway, to be honest. That's not a bad angle for us to two ships against one. Wow, that was a good shot on the sovereign. Right, 
Right, so we've probably only got 11 guns on this side, so frigate isn't going to be able to do a lot of damage. This one is... okay. Very accurate, what's that? Perhaps we're on the hut rise as we hit. He's actually turned his um, better side towards, so I'm guessing that most of those cannons are on this side. Oof, that was um, a good shot. Let's see if we can get across his bow. It's always more effective if you can fire at the left of the ship than the broadside. Starting to go. Continue, we don't want it to escape. <clears throat> that would undo all our good work to us. There we go, he's gone. Right, so that should be another frigate that we can add to our fleet. <clears throat> okay. We, rule the way. we certainly do. Okay, let's speed things up a bit. I'll just um, take the sound down a bit. So it's only the ambient sound of the wind and the waves, but it's, I just find it very, very annoying, and I think probably most people would actually, uh, who are listening. Right, okay. So we suffered some damage amongst our ships, not very much at all, to be honest. All their hulls are really strong. The uh, sails always seem to rebuild anyway on the next conflict. So we're going to... This will be our fleet that we're going to use. I don't know whether to actually put Nelson into it. How far can he travel? Can he go as far as... Oof, not quite. Um, how far can this fleet reach? Actually, that's better. Can we get into the port? I'm not sure that we can. Let's get as far... It doesn't say that we can, does it? Let's land here. Let's land here on the beach. We've got a very small army with us here. Just a unit of... Um, I think we can move out this turn. Okay, and we've got to do very much more with the ships. So that'll be our Mediterranean fleet. Hopefully they'll be able to catch quite a few ships. And um, Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna split these guys up. Then we're gonna send... Send this one over. I don't want to leave it on its own because it would be tempting for it to be attacked then. We'll keep it there. We'll send it back once we've got Corsica. We'll send it round there to be repaired. And same thing with the frigates that have suffered damage. Um, I'm going to split this fleet up. I'm going to blockade these guys. We're going to put a fleet here. You never know, that may act as a temptation for them to come out. I doubt it somehow, but it may do. Uh, so we've got this blockaded. Can we grab some more? We can grab some more. Trading ports, that's good. What's happening up here? It's destroyed. Can we go into there yet? We can't. Nope. Can't move into there. Okay, I think we're almost at the end turn, to be honest. This is where I think I made my problem, my mistake. Um, it might be that we're going to be attacked and destroyed. We'll have to see. It's got quite a lot of troops around. Anyway, let's see what he does. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just have a cup of tea. I kind of like blew it really to be honest thinking about it. If I had actually waited, like, oh dear, looks like we're going to be attacked. We could have actually taken out um, Picardy and Champagne and given it to the... I got a bit over eager I think. I'll probably have to retreat across the border. I'm pretty certain that the British Army is not up to fighting the French. Their morale's much better. I would really need to double up against most of their armies I think. Right, okay, well that's okay, that's fine. Um, 
what has he got? 1800, 1800s, so I don't think I'm going to attack. <clears throat> I'll move back across the border and we'll see if he moves units out of um, Reims or Rang, and um, then we'll, we'll maybe take an opportunistic attack then. Give that over to the Belgians. I really want to do the same thing in Holland if I can. I want to try and take out and liberate the Dutch. I'm sure they're suffering under the Napoleonic code. They want their liberty back, I would think. Because we're now talking that this is the empire, isn't it? We've gone past the revolutionary stage in history. This is now simply Napoleon milking the trade of his um, colonies and in Europe. Yeah, he's got two stacks there. That's a problem. I probably need to decoy the guy, actually. Maybe put one unit on the north coast of Holland, decoy his army around, and then attack Holland, attack um, Amsterdam. Army sabotage. Oh, right. God damn it. So that's going to take another turn to actually attack these guys. Can he recruit? I don't know. He's not recruiting anything at the moment. Um, okay, well, could have been worse. Wasn't that unfortunate? He had a spy on that island. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Having a spy. Okay, right. Ah, oh, it's Portuguese. We haven't managed to get them involved in the war yet. Right, that's fine. I think we're blockading the Mediterranean, so we shouldn't get any problems with ships breaking out. Uh, we can't grab any more of these trade ports. I'd like to actually get a complete monopoly of all the trade, to be honest. Um, let's have a look up here. Is that damaged or not? I don't know. Let's, let's destroy that. And destroy that. And we put him into there. Put one of these ships down to here. One of these ships down to here. One of these guys down to here. Ah, actually got a um, what is that? What is that we're trading? Tea. We've got tea here as well, I believe. Yeah, so we've got plenty of tea. We've got a Yeah, I think. Move that out. We'll keep that in there. We got Kingdom of Denmark. Gosh, good lord, three thousand eight hundred ivory. That's what we want. We want the ivory spices. We need that one as well. Yeah, we certainly need to try and grab that ivory. I can't see how that's going to happen unless we actually attack. Denmark. Um, okay, so we can't do anything there at the moment. Let's have a sail around, see if um, we can capture some ships. What do we got here? Okay. Yeah, well, I think we just come down here, take out these ships, add them to our fleet. I wonder if there's anything up here, to be honest. Anyway, let's let's retreat this army back to begin with, because there's no way that we can... Um, I can win, I just, don't get me wrong. I think I would win, but I would suffer so many losses that it would um, cause us problems. So we're going to go back to here. Yeah. We're going to do the trade route. We're going to put a general into here. Put one foot guy into here. I'm going to move this guy back to here. What's happening here with this port? No buildings there. We need to. That's been destroyed. That's been damaged again. So we're going to come out and. Do a bit of work on there. In actual fact, it probably makes more sense to move the Corvette back. 
what we'll do, we'll use that to actually attack this port and then that port and we'll move this ship round to join the fleet round here okay that's all doing well let's build some more trade ships can we actually reach anything from that port straight away oh we can that's weird what have we got up here Rig. Let's send that brig down. Wow, they do have an enormous um, reach, do they not? Do I need any more ships here? I could probably do with using a brig to actually transport troops rather than using this 98 gunner. That seems a bit of a, a bit of overkill. So we move that down south. I'll move this guy into here to. sort out our trade, so we sort out our um, movement of our guys. Okay, so we've got a monopoly up here. Let's, let's build another merchantman. Can build merchantman here yet? Not yet. Um, this guy here can reach here and build another one. Another merchantman here, one here, and one over here. So I'm not going to build any warships because I'm I'm just catching them from my enemies. I'm not intending to <clears throat> construct any ships. Okay, so it's, it's the beginnings of another army. <clears throat> we'll do some upgrading and we'll do some building of see if the roads are all yeah the roads are all fine this could actually do with being upgraded couldn't it court of justice court of justice I think that's going to be it to be honest here we'll, we'll recruit some more troops Dutch Belgium no let's do for the light dragoons at the moment um, I'm just going to check out my technology, going for something that will improve our our wealth. And these all the trade routes, recruitment report. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, let's go down to here. It looked to me as if they'd actually moved out of Gibraltar. So it's a possibility of taking that back as well. Once we've taken out Corsica, that will give us a base in um, the Mediterranean. We'll then try to take out some of these other territories. Piedmont, Torino, Marseille, Toulouse. And we'll just try and weaken the French that way and give them to our allies, the protectorates rather. Um, I think we're at the end turn to it, so I don't think there's anything else I want to do. We're blockading these guys at the moment. There's naval. There's only two guys there. can probably... don't think we'll need the 140 gunship there. We'll put them there. That looks a lot stronger. And I think we're just going to end our turn. And then we'll see what um, the French Empire does. Luckily, they haven't uh, attacked my protectorates yet. That's Brittany and Belgium. Just need to see them move away from Picardy. And then we'll jump in. Right, so it's tying down an army anyway. So it's helping my allies, the Austrians. They seem to be holding their own, the Austrians. They're not doing... I think they lost Prague. Don't think the Prussians are at war with the French yet. We could really do with that, to be honest. I think the French are the dangerous um, faction in this 
because their 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 troops have such fantastic morale. They're very difficult to defeat. That's interesting. He's making up a couple of full stacks there. The Dutch. Yeah, maybe if I can't actually defeat the um. Oh gosh, it's been sabotaged again. When is it going to stop? <laughs> you just gonna, all you're going to do is attack the guy. Right. I think what we're going to do is come down and fight another naval battle down here anyway. We'll try and take out these guys. Capture their ships. Um, what declared French arm. Ah, Kingdom of Prussia. Excellent. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to try and jump in there and see if they'll ally with us. And we'll give them some technology. Not that that's going to help them very much. Uh, let's see if we can get something for it. Um, give them some money as well. It's a unit, basically. Ah, gosh, I don't want much, do they? Well, we'll go for that. Uh, so I'm allied with Prussia. The French, so oh yeah, they've joined. They've joined the 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 right side, haven't they? They've joined the force as opposed to the dark side. Ottomans, Württemberg, French Empire, the Kingdom of Italy. They're at war with. I think we're sort of thoroughly hated. <laughs> we need to do some more work, taking out some more of these territories. Um. I think we've probably got trade with other one we can trade with. Let's have a look. I don't think there's any more we can actually trade with. Italy, let's see if we can get peace with them. Nope, they still absolutely hate us. Okay, right. The Dutch of the Danish moved off net. No, swines. <laughs> they know a good thing when they see it. Uh, right, how are we fixed here? I think we were going to bring that ship down to here. We're blockading his two ships that are in here. He's actually recruiting another ship, actually. It's interesting. At some stage, we may let them out and attack them. Can't grab that one. Can't grab that one. Okay, and we were going to send this ship up to here to attack, weren't we? He's repairing that, I believe. So this 98 gunner down to here, I'm taking a slight risk because we've actually got no ships in the home home waters at the moment. But it's really only the Danish and the Norwegians that will cause a problem. In fact, what I'm going to try and do is try and get matey with them. They're indifferent with us at the moment, so let's go give them some money. Yeah, I'm sure it is a generous gift. 68, that's better. They're very friendly. Let's open up. No, we don't want an alliance actually thinking about it. So I think they're not too... They don't really like Sweden. Sweden could be a good ally of ours. They're very... In fact, they are an ally of ours. Um, but that's changed things around remarkably. They're now 68 and they're very friendly towards us. Um, okay, let's... So we're going to see what we want to do here. We still can't get that port and... Um, because we've been attacked again. Is this just going to carry on the whole time? We need to get out of Jackie O. Right, okay. Interesting. Okay. So I've got quite a few troops there. Basically, that'll convert into a full stack with the um, guys that are here. So we need them to really move away, to be honest. Um, right, what are we going to do? Let's use this ship to go over here. I don't think he can quite reach, can he? These guys, we're going to move to here. We'll move a ship down to here. Move the ship down to here. 
And we'll move the ship down to here. Okay, that's good. Um, need to destroy this French port over here. Not that he's building anything. We'll just sit there and maybe drag some armies over. Go there. Uh, we're going to court of justice. And court of justice. We'll try and build some more trading ships. Let's have a look at our trade. What are the big items? Sugar. Ivory is fantastic price. It'd be really nice to try and get those Dutch and um, Danish off of that ivory. You see, 17,000 now. Um, tobacco is still pretty good actually. Tea. Uh, furs. Yeah, probably furs is probably the just as good actually, looking at that. Can we kick anyone actually? I haven't tried to get rid of some of these ministers for a while. Oh. Right, okay, I suppose that's better. Um right. That's furs, where are furs? Tobacco, cotton, tobacco, furs, let's go to furs. And we'll build a ship here, actually. And we'll send this one over to Furs as well. And can we build anything else? Let's have a look. To try and build some more troops. Okay. Let's move down to here. That brig, we were going to bring back to here, weren't we? Um, I'm actually toying with relocating that army down towards Spain, this, this army that's forming up. Um, just leaving Arthur Wellesley here. So we should really, should really move the general out as well, to be honest. Let's move that guy into here. We only need one general in each army. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that, actually. Um, let's, let's put these guys on board. And we go across and we pick up these guys. It's a shame we can't do more movement actually with these, these ships. But once I've put these guys on board, it kind of stops the movement. So we need some artillery next, I think. Uh, let's go down to here. And we're going to come down and attack these guys. Okay, so what's he got? A bomb catch, frigate, so I have no guns? I don't know, it's weird. Carronade frigate, a 38 guns frigate, so that's quite a reasonable fleet to take over. Right, I'll um, end the episode there. We'll be fighting this in the next episode um fantastic beard <laughs> uh anyway so we'll be attacking this guy and that'll be some more ships to add to our it'd be nice to get a bomb catch actually that'd be handy 38 carronade and another 38 so that's not a bad fleet actually to add to that right i hope you've enjoyed the episode i so say we've got a bit stuck on corsica we keep getting our our troops interfered with dirty Frenchmen and um, we'll be trying to take out a Jackio that gives a port we'll certainly need a port because we're going to suffer some damage here with this um, fleet and we'll need a port to repair in in the Mediterranean um, okay I hope you've enjoyed the episode and you're keeping well and I'll be speaking to you soon bye for now <laughs>